Hey guys, I'm back. Let's get going. Um, man, I almost wish we could just find a template. What does this look like? Oh, what's left is something that we don't have. The difference. I think this should really be in a fourth column. table cells, but I guess that makes sense. Um, so we're adding this as a fourth column because the create button shouldn't really be in the frequency section. Um, this would be two. Same, I think this one's going to be Alright, so now we can do, take this guy back, so we've gotten rid of the form all together, we didn't need it, add it as a table row, expense doesn't have frequency, get rid of this form down here, Expense here. Did I? Did we cut it from up top? Darn it. Sometimes you get a little cut happy. Um, so I just copied that back. We need to put this back in here. All right, that's better. We've got Z hanging out. One Z. Get rid of that. Um, uh, okay. I think we need to make these input boxes 100% of the width of our columns. So, we'll hit our app.css. All the inputs of... I think that's how you say that. All the text inputs, we want them to be width. 100%. So every input of type text that's inside of a table cell, a TD, will now be 100% width. And I think we should add some padding to our, or some margin in between our table cells. So how do we do that? Margin in between table cells. Border spacing, huh? See if that works, I guess. Border spacing. I did it. 20 pixels is way too much. 10 pixels looks about right. There we go. Does everything line up still? It's a shame that. Okay, that's what we need, we need to do. We need to set a width for our third column. I think our third column can be the same as our second column. 80 pixels. So now second and third column will be 80 pixels. And that makes it so our... It's hard to tell with so many expenses, but that our create buttons line up. Uh, I think we're going to need to be able to... Well, we're definitely going to need to be able to remove uh, expenses and income streams. So let's put a placeholder button in there. Oops. So for our... There we go. This is for our income stream. We're going to have a button 
And it's going to say delete. Same for our expenses. Everything lines up nicely. Delete, delete. So we're going to be able to click on these to delete items. Um, it looks like this kind of threw our alignment out of whack. Maybe we need to vertical align these. I guess I do it. That doesn't look like it did anything though. Um, well, that's annoying. Or if we did like, uh, maybe it needs to be on the button itself. No. It's kind of tough to style these buttons, I guess. I think we'll add a column header for these columns called actions. There it is. Let's just add some shading. So every other row I think we want to have a different background color probably. Um, so we're going to shade every, every other row CSS. And it looks like we can use that. It looks like it works for columns too, which is kind of cool. Um, we'll just add these rules here. So this is saying every even child that we're going to have background that color. Let's make it a little more interesting, like a, a light green maybe. Super light green. So it's going to be light green and white. Oh, look at that. That's no good, huh? Our cell spacing is kind of messing things up here. Also, the light green looks terrible. Uh, more gray. Um, our cell spacing is going to have to go. And what we're going to do instead is add padding to our table cells. 10 pixels. Um... Oh, the border spacing is what it's called. We don't want that. I think we may have to explicitly say is border spacing zero to get those to touch. Yeah, that's better. Um, and I think we'll do the same style for our table header as the even rows. Just clean up a bit here. All right, starting to look a little more like a budget. Um, now this is weird. Okay, so we need to add our padding to our table headers as well. So that our text all lines up, that's better. I think our padding to the left looks good, but I think we could use a little less padding on the top and bottom. So to do that, do 5 pixels and 10 pixels. So this first value is going to be the padding on the top and the bottom. The second value is the padding on the left and the right. So that made our rows shrink a little bit and it looks better. I think maybe because these buttons are so hard to style it might be best to take the padding down a little bit
Uh, that didn't really do it. We need to figure out how to vertically align a line button in a table cell. So hmm. I wonder if this is gonna work. Let's see. So this is saying any table, T body, table row, T D, the text and everything is going to be vertically aligned. Maybe, maybe that will work. did not work, unfortunately. I may have to give up and leave that, leave that to the pros sometimes later. Um, don't think it's worth fussing about right now. Starting to look a little bit more like a budget. I think what we need to do, I think this budget right here is kind of misplaced. I don't really like any of this here, to be honest. Um, interesting. I'm trying to think if, if we like the input fields inside of the darker background cells better. I think it does look a little nicer. So what we could do is add an extra cell here if this value, if this input falls on an, so this is odd, and then even, if it falls on an even row, I guess maybe we could add an extra table row in there to pad it out so that that bottom row is always highlighted in the, the darker background. So let's try and do that. Um, let's see, where's our repeat? So, ooh, interesting, budget streams. I think what we need to do, budget streams is calculated here, budget income streams, so we could do, and I'm not sure how we do the logic again in here. How to do um, logic in React component render? We want yeah conditional rendering. Um, interesting. Okay, so it's this with this and here. That's how you do it. Okay, so we wrap it like this, and we do this state income streams dot length. Um, modulus 2 so if it's even do we want to add a new row no oh, what's it complaining about now okay so this would be 1 and 2 so that's even so if it's even we want to add that extra column yeah so if modulus 2 that means even uh, equals 0 then we add this empty table row and it's got four empty table cells so that's going to render this extra row for us of course the height isn't right which is no good so let's add a space in there. And now it's the same. So now we've got this empty cell here. 
So it just kind of makes things nice so that this is always going to be on the darker background. I think we'll leave it like that. Let's do the same thing for our expenses. Cool. So now this is always going to go in the dark background, and I think I like that better. It's, uh, the table is always going to start and end with dark. I think that's good. Uh, okay. I think we have all this space up here to use, and this space, I don't like wasting our vertical space because it's precious, especially on things like mobile phones and stuff. So let's take this budget. And let's add it to our header up. Let's just see what it looks like without it, first of all. Okay, it looks better like this now. Yeah, it definitely does. Um, I also kind of think that this would look better elsewhere, I don't know. Maybe on a sidebar, actually. Yeah, what we can do is add a sidebar. Um, so let's take a look at the flex layout side bar. The holy grail layout. What is a holy grail layout? Is that, oh, this is what we're looking at right here. Yeah, this is what we want, right? So, let's make it happen, I guess. Um, in our app.js, hmm, is it this easy? keep things simple for now. We are going to wrap this all in a container div. So here's our budget and then we're gonna have a div called sidebar. Sidebar is going to get our select box. And sidebar's width is going to be a fixed width. Of 120 pixels, I think. And dot budget. I don't know, maybe we should use this flex layout. So we have our body of class Holy Grail. Grail body. Oh wow, so complicated. Um, there we go. This one's a little simpler, huh? Let's just copy this in. So 
we have container, nav, and main. And so this is going to be container. This is going to be nav. This is going to be main. Let's get rid of this. Let's see how close we are. Wow, look at that. Just kind of dropped in and worked. <laughs> hey there. <laughs> Okay, cool. So that did work. Our layout's working well. Uh, it needs to be a little wider, but that is okay. We can work with this. Let's make our width 150 pixels. And let's add some padding. I think 10 pixels is kind of our, our go-to padding in the project so far. Uh, yeah. yeah, let's take the width down. Let's make it, uh, let's see. Let's make it so that there's 10 pixels of padding on each side of this drop. Oh, that value could change, so never mind. We'll leave it just like this. This looks pretty good, uh, size wise. So now we have this kind of holy grail layout with a header and a full length nav bar on the left it's a hideous color um, that's going to change but uh, yeah looks pretty good uh, the next thing we'll do is after dropping the color from here maybe we should have I like I like this color must be the color of the main Maybe. Yeah, Alice Blue. That is a nice color. We're going to keep that. We're going to make that our nav background color as well. Yeah. Eh, needs to be a little bit different, doesn't it? Maybe we add a border to it or something. And yeah, there's just not enough real estate on this any laptop screen is there. There we go. We'll just add a border. Line things up nicely. Man, I'm closing out a PHP storm. I keep switching to it. <laughs> um set a border to our nav here and I think so now we've got things pretty much partitioned into really clear sections uh, one design trick one design uh, rule of thumb basically is that you want to group related items together um, closer and you want to have like white space in between them so you can see this income right now even though we have equal padding on the top and bottom, which is good sometimes, it has kind of taken that income header and pushed it far away to the top of our income section here. So I think we're going to take this down. I think the padding on the top here needs, to, or the padding on the bottom needs to be a little less. Um, Maybe that's margin bottom. There we go. Yeah, that's better. I think we'll make it five, and that way it's grouped together. Um, we also need some padding to the left here. Um, and it looks like maybe we stick with our 10, huh? Yeah. So now everything lines up nicely text-wise. Or would it be better to add a padding? Let's add our margin bottom first. So that that's an H2. So in our main dot H2, or in our 
main h2 we want to make sure our margin bottom is only five pixels so that it's grouped nicely yeah that looks better um, and let's see what happens if we add some padding to our budget here hmm what if we just did padding all around hmm I feel like this is going to give an epileptic person seizures looking at this. These colors are so stark in contrast. Maybe we should find some color picker. Something to choose the colors for us because I'm so bad at choosing. Um, yeah, let's get padding to this. I like I like the padding on man, so we'll add padding five pixels all around for now. Um and let's line up this bar. Let's make it so that I think what we should do is take this margin up we want this to line up sort of with this header I think hmm even with the zero the other thing we could do is bring this down yeah that's what we're gonna do this is easier so I'm trying to line up the bottom of this text with the bottom of this I'm gonna use just a like a pen to actually look and line it up that looks pretty close. I think it needs to come down one more pixel. Yeah, now it looks better right there. Okay, cool. Margin top 20 pixels for that uh, element. So let's add, yeah, nav here. We can add padding to the nav, I think. Padding 10 pixels. So let's make. the top padding 30 pixels and we'll do 10 pixels for everything else there we go cool so now those are kind of lined up um, we don't have go next to this input because we don't have the real estate here this nav bar is pretty narrow so we don't want to waste it um, and then the other thing what color is that background or background like white or something. Not really digging. Maybe I don't like the outside padding on this. Yeah, I think it looks better without it. I think what would be better is if we. If we had these extend all the way out? No. Maybe not. Hmm. Let's get rid of this. Let's take a look. This is where we are right now. I mean, it looks better. It looks much more like a, a real website, obviously. It's not beautiful. Um, my graphic design skills are lacking for my web design but at least you can kinda of tell what this is now uh, my man money manager maybe we should have something up here 
that denotes that we're on the budget page. Eventually we're going to have like a nav bar that just says like what pages we have, budget, income, or like investments, uh, cash flow type of deals. So we're not going to add that yet, but we'll just put budget up here so that way we know we're on the budget page. Um, we definitely don't want the background color to be different across the various places. So let's see. Let's make this white here. I think that's better. So we've got our menu over here. Um, I think we need to sh tell users that they that this is for selecting a budget. Select a budget. Select a budget. There we go, so now users know what this form is for. They can select a budget, click go. Uh, obviously that's broken still, but. We can see our income, we can see our expenses. Let's experiment with adding more padding to the left of this. Uh, I think we don't need any vertical padding maybe. But let's add like 20 pixels. I think it definitely does look better. Maybe if we like centered it. It's almost like we want to add a bar on the right there and center this. I don't know. Maybe not though. I think that's kind of hard to do with. Uh, like responsive layouts. Yeah, we'll just bring this down. There we go. I think we'll square the padding right here. So see how that's almost a square? Square. Now that's about square. I think that looks better. Um, so padding 27 pixels. 0 pixels and 27 pixels for the padding for main. Yeah, looks better. Our alignment here is a little funky still. So now we can see that this is one group of income. Maybe we should add some more margin underneath our income section to separate it more from the expenses section. So use a little bit of this white space to to really show that these are two different sections. And yeah, that definitely looks better. Um, it looks better being separated. So let's go up to 40 and see if that continues to look better. And I think it definitely does. Wow, okay, cool. Um, that is like one of the most profound changes we've made so far, honestly. <laughs> funny. Uh, okay, cool. Yeah, I think 50 pixels is better. So now I've got a little padding up here just to look nice, but this padding here really shows us that these are two separate forms. Um, cool. Select the budget. Let's 
weird that that didn't... Pro oh, okay, I see. This is our title. I need to add this to here. And eventually this nav bar up top is going to have links to different pages probably. This is pretty good. I think we're getting there. I think maybe we can add one more section before we um, wrap this up for this segment. And I think what we should do is add a total section. Um, so let's get to it. We're going to copy the format pretty much exactly. Um, Oh, we need to add back in our padding here. The, what was it? Budget Income Streams is the name of our... Budget Income gets a margin bottom of 20 pixels. Or, sorry, 50 pixels. Same for Budget Expense. What's that? Uh, all the budget expense, yeah. And then we're going to add another section that's going to be called budget. To, um, what was it called? It budget leftover and left over. Just see what this looks like. I think we can, we'll do something real simple, total, and then we'll just put the amount here, and we don't need anything there, I think, total, 1200, uh, we're not going to format that dynamically ourselves, and I I think we need to remove that. So we also need to set an explicit width for our table headers. So we can do that in the same way that we did with our, what is it, table cells, and this is in, yeah, here we go. So this, we need to do the same thing for our table headers, and the same thing here. That's all the explicit widths we set, I think. There we go, so now this all lines up. Um, uh, man, we're going to have to set, I think we're going to have to, unfortunately, set a width for our, let's see, so that's right, but this last one needs a width, and we'll make it 75 just to line up with the, with the other, oh, it could be, it could be 80, I guess, no, never mind. So the fourth column cells and the fourth column headers are going to be, let's see what 80 looks like, if it looks okay, that yeah, doesn't, doesn't look okay, 75, um, is it 95 pixels? So it stops moving 
at about 55 pixels, so we're going to make it 55 pixels. That looks good, and that lines up now. 55 pixels. Let's see where we're at. You know this is starting to look like a website. Looks pretty good. It's almost deployable. I think we can take this probably and line it up further to the left. I don't like this left padding here since there's already left padding on our entire page. So we're going to remove that. Nav is no longer going to get left padding. So this is top padding, right padding, bottom padding, left padding. Don't need pixels, it's just zero. Now this lines up there, that's nicer. Select a budget, go. Because this is variable width, Maybe we should set a width on here. I think that's okay. Yeah, no, we should, because we should try and mirror the padding here and here, I think, as much as possible. So this has a padding of 27 pixels on the left so we'll do the same for our nav here on the right so pop right 27 pixels there we go and we will take the width of this to 150 I think See what that looks like. There we go. Does it look better? I think it does. So we'll say nav input type text. Oh, and you know what? That's not what that is. That is a select box with 150 pixels. Let's take a look. There we go. A little more, a little more lined up. All right, I would call this acceptable. This is almost useful now, huh? It's not as embarrassing <laughs> when we show our friends this. Um, this looks like something that you could actually use. Obviously this is not the finished product. We're going to have to come back and do another iteration of styles again. This is a, an okay start though. Things actually line up now. Um, we put some time into separating out the different components here so that income and expenses are are obviously now separate sections. We added this leftover section um, and we've moved our uh, budget selection and we've, we've changed that from forcing the user to give the idea of their budget which is kind of unreasonable to now them being able to select it by name. We're gonna have to implement that later. Um, we've added a header Although, I think this should go all the way across. Maybe not for now. But uh, other than that, things are looking good. Thanks for tuning in, guys. If you liked what you saw, please subscribe. Um, in the next couple sections, we're probably going to end up deploying this. Um, we'll deploy it to like AWS or something and maybe go over how to use source control and save things. So here's the, the product so far, our budget manager. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe if you like the video. Take it easy, guys.